Hi everyone, um, this video will be looking at ballroom posture and your hold as a follower. Now, in ballroom I find it really helpful to think about um, our posture, something that starts at the feet and it spirals up and ends with our head. Um, so it's something that works bottom up as opposed to top down. Um, and I think especially with followers this is really important because you and your partner should look like this and if you're not working up towards him then you can't get the shape back and out. Um, so if we come into hold and we start with our feet, our standing leg is turned out and our other leg, the ankle is dropped and the inside edge of our foot is um, being used. Um, this is the same for both legs, um, depending on how we're dancing. And our knees are working in and together. This is so we can use that energy to drive um, backwards, forwards. Um, then moving up to our hips, they shouldn't be tilted out. We don't want any bums sticking out. They should be tilted under and connected to our partner. Um, this is important because we need to feel where they're changing direction. So if they're taking us to promenade, this is how we'll know it's our primary point of contact and not our arms, even though they have a huge role to play. Similarly, when you're doing lines with your throw away, you can't get a good shape if this isn't forward first. If I take this back, I can't go anywhere. This has to come forward for me to go backwards. Um, now we have to have our stomachs pulled in, rib cage up, but the shoulders are down. Um, we don't want any of this. They need to be down and our shoulder blades are working down and together. So we have a nice toned back. Um, now moving to our arms, if we take our arms out, fold them in. This is where our um, upper arms should basically stay. Um, it's a bit more complicated for a follower than a lead, but that's more or less where they stay. And you should feel like your elbows are being pulled outwards. And that's where you get a big frame from. And your lower arms just fold in over top. Now, um, your left hand, there's per different ways of having your fingers looking pretty or whatever. I'm just going to tell you what I do. Um, thumb and third finger go around this muscle on your lead's arm. And that's working up as well. You shouldn't feel like you're pushing them down and you shouldn't feel like you're pulling them towards you. This is working up to help them. Um, and then your right hand, this is personal preference as well. Some of the leads will want to have their hands like this. Some will want to have them like this. You just need to make sure that your thumbs align and they've gone in over the top and they go wherever your lead wants to put their hand. Um, okay, so we have our shape like this. Now, to get a big shape, um, things start from our hips, as I was saying with our throwaway. This left side needs to feel like it's working forward. So it works forward and at the same time we can go take our head back, but only if this is working forward. If we don't bring this forward, then we just end up pulling it off. And that's when we can start to feel heavy in our lead's hand, because they shouldn't feel any weight in the palm of their hand. It should all be here. You should be on your own feet and you should be balanced enough to not need them to hold you up. So we're working forward and out and our head, our neck is long because our shoulders are down and our chin is up and we're looking um, at the second floor in Blackpool. We're looking diagonally up to the ceiling. So if I turn around, come in, start with our knees and we spiral up here. What I find really helpful when I come in is to bring my arm out to where my head's going to go and I know that my back's in the right place so then I just fold my arm on top. So if I show you. And then we're good to go. <laughs> Thank you. 